Hey you guys, this is Mr. Millings and today we're going to learn how to calculate the average atomic mass of the atoms that are on the periodic table. So let's take a look at the periodic table first. It says right here that the atomic masses that you see on the periodic table of elements, these guys are the averages of all the known isotopes of that given element multiplied by their relative abundance in the universe. So if we take a look at our periodic table of elements here, on the bottom of each little box, you're going to see this little number right here. This little number is the average atomic mass. The average atomic mass. This is the average of all the known isotopes of hydrogen multiplied by their relative abundance. Same thing right here. We have 6.94 for lithium. That is going to be the average of all known isotopes of lithium multiplied by their relative abundance. Same right here, 22.99 for sodium, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So where do scientists get this number from? Well, that's what we're gonna learn about in this video. So let's go ahead and move forward and take a look. All right, so let's take a look at an example. Let's look at magnesium. It says right here that there are three naturally occurring isotopes of magnesium. We have magnesium 24, we have magnesium 25, and last but not least, we have magnesium 26, okay? Its average atomic mass on the periodic table of elements is 24.31. If we look at this little box right here, the average atomic mass for magnesium is 24.31. But how did scientists get that number? Well, here we go. Let's take a look. If we take a look at magnesium 24 isotope, we know that its actual mass is pretty close to 23. I'm sorry, to 24. It's 23.9858423. Okay, if we take a look at this number here, this is 24 because we're assuming that electrons have zero mass or zero AMUs when in fact they don't. They actually have a very tiny mass. That is why we're seeing this right here, 23.9850423 instead of 24. Okay, so if we take this number right here, the actual mass of magnesium 24 and multiply it by its relative abundance in the universe, we will end up with this number right here, the relative mass in AMUs of this isotope of magnesium. Same thing with magnesium 25. If we take the mass, the actual mass of this isotope here, it's going to be 24.9858374. And if we multiply that by its relative abundance in the universe, we will end up with 2.49. Lastly, if we take the third and final naturally occurring isotope of magnesium, Magnesium 26 actually has a mass pretty close to magnesium 26. We just call it magnesium 26 out of ease, but those little electrons actually have a mass. So let's take a look. The actual mass of magnesium 26 is 25.982579 or 5937 multiplied by the relative abundance, and we get this number right here. And guess what we do now? If we add these three numbers up right here, we will end up with this magic number right here, 24.31. That is going to be the number that we see at the bottom of each little box on the periodic table. This is the average atomic mass. Average atomic mass, people. Average atomic mass. Okay, so the average atomic mass, once again, is the average of all known isotopes of that element multiplied by their relative abundance. So let's go ahead and take a look at another example where we actually calculate the average atomic mass of a newly discovered element. All right, it says right here, you're gonna try this on your own. I recommend that you pause this video and try this on your own before I do it for you. Get your calculators out and try this on your own. Use the example that we just did and try this on your own. It says right here, a new element has been discovered, number 18 on the periodic table of elements period uh, I'm sorry element number 118 ah the element of surprise ah has been found to have four different isotopes their mass numbers and relative abundance are found below we want to calculate the average atomic mass of ah so we have a brand new discovered element I'm just kidding I made this up but for this example it will work and what we want to do is we want to know the average atomic mass we want to find the average atomic mass so what we need to do is we need to take the masses of each one of these multiply it by their relative abundance and then add those together and that will give us this number that appears on the periodic table so unlike in the last example we're just going to go ahead and assume that electrons have zero mass 
or I'm sorry, I uh, have a mass of zero AMUs just out of ease. So let's do this one first. If we take 271, we take the mass times the relative abundance. We're going to go ahead and convert this to uh, a decimal here, right? Move the decimal to the left two times and we'll end up with 0 0.7343. Let's do the same thing right here. The mass of this isotope is 270. And we're going to multiply this by, it looks like, 0 0.2321. We're going to do the same thing right here. We're going to take the mass of this, which is 269. And we're going to multiply this by 0 0.0254. Converting this to a decimal rather than a percentage. And then in this last one, we're going to take the mass of this isotope, which is 268 times 0 0.0082. This is where you get your calculator out. This is where you will get your calculator out. Sorry about that. And uh, let's put these numbers in. And what we get for this one is 198.9953. What we get for this one, let's go ahead and plug this in, 62.667. Let's plug this one in our calculators. 6.8326. And let's put this last one into our calculators, people. And we're going to get 2.1976. So now what do we do? We add all of these together. We're going to add all of these four masses together. We're going to add all four of these masses, and this will be atomic mass units. So let's go ahead and add all of these up. And we end up with 270.693, it looks like. 270.693. Three AMUs, atomic mass units. So we just found the average atomic mass of element 118. Ah, the element of surprise. That is going to be the number that will go right here on the periodic table. Now, once again, element 118 does not exist. I completely made this up. This is just a fictional element. However, that is how all the scientists have determine the average atomic masses on the periodic table of elements. So if you like what you see, go ahead and click that little bomb in the bottom right hand corner and that will subscribe you to my channel. Also feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comment section down below and I hope you guys found this helpful.